From Surbat Lanes in Kingman, we're here for the title matches of today's JPT event. Handicap ahead of scratch. A couple of good stories here. Samantha Conti grabbed the top seed by just one pin in the semifinals. She's your top seed, and that's a fifth frame strike. She's getting one pin of handicap against Elijah Melkor, who is now won, surely, a JBT record 11 consecutive matches in Steph Ladder Finals. Trying to win his fifth career title. <coughs> Samantha also trails in this match by about 20. And that washout in the sixth is not going to help right here. <clears throat> Plus 191, good for that one pin. Top seed lead over Kaylee M. Cohn, who also finished in second in the women's series. Up quickly at the spare. And she's got it, yes. Nice cover from Samantha, who's improving rapidly, but obviously the same thing can be said about Elijah here. My oh, goodness. 246 to 198 over Samantha Potter. <coughs> And 260 to 183 over Kaylee that we just talked about. Working on a double in the sixth. Super lucky to break that up into only the sixth pin. Good turnout today. Dual points, not double points. Javi and Arizona. About an hour and a half south of Vegas. Well, and Elijah's going to false start. That's a mature move. Something didn't feel right. Back off. Try it again. Meanwhile, to the left, Cortez Schenk is the top seed in the scratch division. He is playing Russ Oviatt in the scratch division title match. They used mulligan format today. Oviatt had to burn through all of his mulligans to get to this point. Meanwhile, Cortez has yet to use any mulligans. So, in order to win a scratch JBT title, there's a few things you have to do. Number one is not play Cortez. Number two is not play Cortez when he has four mulligans and you have none. That is a uh, distressing position for them to be in. And it's only getting worse right over there. His double spare spare is not going to cut it for us. Elijah converted that six pin. So now he's got a spare work in the seventh. He leads by 19 with the handle. Double dribbled and again lucky to only leave a six pin. <clears throat> Could have been a lot worse than nine spare nine. The last two shots for Elijah. It's so hard to win that many matches in a row. I mean, <clears throat> scratch, you're up against so many different great bowlers and handicap, there's just so many variables, things that can go wrong and they've all gone right and it's Hill right there, that is a rare error from Melchor with a fairly easy spare there. Let's see if Conti can take advantage. Good shot there with the light hit doesn't mix it up. Bold on Statue of Liberty today, 47 feet long, but that's in the middle of the lane. A lot lower volume and shorter on the outsides of the lane. Creates a little bit of an over-under type situation. Most of the players elect to keep the ball in the oil as long as possible. <coughs> They can stick with pretty aggressive equipment. That ball to lay over and crush the hole. Pretty high scores today in handicap plus 91 and a five game. 73 was the five game cut. That was aided by the Mulligans. Wow. And there's some unusual pin action from Samantha over there. It's a three, six and a half, and that was not a six pin to begin with, I don't think. That was a I don't know what that is, but she's got a she's got a baby baby split. No baby, she's got oh no, chopped it. Well, Conti running out of frames quickly here. 
And this just happens all the time. Every time Elijah gives his opponents an opportunity, he doesn't get punished for it. And when he's had to come up with shots himself, he has come through with strikes. Actually increased those, his lead in the last couple frames. Wow. Excellent shot, solid 10. Cortez has opened up with five excellent shots. Russ's best game plan right here might be to shove Cortez down the ball return. Elijah at the 10. Ooh, falls off. Well, glimmer of hope again for Samantha. That's for six. Throwing your thing, by the way. Just crush, crush, crush. Must be so boring to be Cortez. Back at it again, Stussy. Well, back to back opens. What does Elijah answer with in the night? Ten in the pit. Yeah. Ah. Well, big shot here for Samantha. Still got a chance, but needs some strikes. Just can't get the ball to roll up to the 1-3 in that lane. The best she can well, and it's still anybody's game. She can still spare strike out for 183. That's the pace Elijah's going at. And remember, Elijah has to win this game by a pin. So I know Samantha's frustrated, but she needs to make this spare. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure she realized just how much she was still in this game. An unfortunate time to have a chop there. Now she needs all three just to make Elijah mark. Yeah, just couldn't, couldn't zone in on the pocket in the title match. A little bit too light in a lot of shots, and then when she adjusted it, crashed up high. Sounds like knee bowling. Cortez absolutely should mulligan this, by the way. He's laughing like it's no big deal, but he doesn't know if he's going to church, 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 or whatever from here. I'd be stunned if he... Why wouldn't you mulligan? Well, your match is not over. What's something... I think this is absolutely stupid not to mulligan. Oh, yeah, but, but get from seven and... I I Controversy. Never. He's got four of them. When he goes Greek church, Greek church. No. Yeah, but he started. Could you do that? Could you do that again? No, that's not what you did. You did this. <laughs> Will Elijah Melkor ever lose a match again? That is now 12 in a row against 12 very talented bowlers. And he's had just enough go right to win those matches. Nine miss, nine miss, doesn't matter, he's made a tough one. Shakes it off and wins another one. So five career titles for Elijah, that's hard to do in the handicap division. Samantha will be back, she is rapidly getting better. Well, 183, a hands raised high. And again, for the 12th time, he is pulling his own Cortez act over here in the handicap division. <laughs> High fives all around for a nice kid. Now, would you just remove that Raiders cap, please? I know. I can just. Yeah, exactly. I agree. I feel like you're not dead because you picked your own ball. That's right. Garbage time, unfortunately for us, in the scratch division, too, as Tez uh, made that academic. Although I still think you should have mulliganed this thing. No, no, no. You never know. I feel like big, big, big. My ball's not going to the pins. Yeah, but then you just 
mulligan once, get the next strike, and then it's over. I don't know. Completely irrelevant argument, because yeah. yeah. if Russ had 12 mulligans, I don't think it would matter. No. Russ uh, won a great match in the semifinals, 269 to 258 over Alex Swagger, but that was also... Part of how he lost this match because he had to burn through all of his mulligans just to get out of that match. No, now he would be a something naughty if he mulligan this shot. He would be, a, would be very unsportsmanlike for him to mulligan this ball. So that's, I believe, 74 titles for Cortez. He's now, with, he's now 11 titles past second place. So he's already a Hall of Fame career beyond the number one person in titles. Amazing. Keeps piling on the numbers. Does Wichita accept early enrollment? Can we ship him off now? Give someone else a chance? You can get another year of this, JBT. This ties... This ties also, by the way, the record for most titles in one season. Jacob Butcher holds that with 20. So that's 20 this year. That's it. I'm going to go out on a limb and says he somehow finds a way to win one more between now and August. You're going to find a way to win more between now and August. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> you bold, great. True story. You are the best Samantha today by a country mile. The best Sam today, sorry. Yes, today. If I got a good, you know, 250 feet. For but yeah, it's a whole new day tomorrow. Will the egg roll be on top? Wow. We will find oh, out. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We'll do it all over again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.